焼いた。ヘビミカジ。What's up, y'all? It's your boy Ace Operative, and today, people, will be reviewing Boruto Naruto Next Generation Episode 79: Reunion with Mitsuki. This episode, I'll give it just straight to you, eight out of ten. Just, it's it's insane. Boruto and Sarada went up against Kokua, as well as Shikida. Shikida as well. They, those three went up against Kokua. I was like here trying to like think in my head, did they stand even at? own such of a chance up against them. Kokua and the Octa, they were able to knock out the Octa, but they could not defeat Kokua. And Kokua's attack hit like a freaking rock dog. There, there was just nothing they can do. And that was where if, if Chocho and Inojin had not showed up, Sarda Sarda wouldn't have been there anymore. But bro, when um when Inoshika Cho teamed up against this guy, it didn't make not one difference. I was literally shocked that. But I mean I don't know why I was shocked. Because there's no way three guinea could take down a a character like Kokua. Like all by themselves. Like there was no freaking way. No matter what formation they used. From what you from what I saw, I thought it was a joke straight up, but it just made sense. They're just not strong enough. This dude Kokua hit like a freaking truck, bro. There was nothing they could do. They were on their last legs, bro. Just like that. They allowed Boruto and Sarada time to try and catch up to Mitsuki, but then Sekie came to stop. And what just like blew my freaking mind. Literally, no pun intended. Was this dude was using Datora's ninjutsu, which was the um detonating clay. But as Boruto and Sarda, like they went up against this guy. I'm not gonna lie, I could have sworn that they would at least stood a good chance against Sekie. I did not expect Boruto now of all times and of all places to whip out Garga. I felt like he could have said that for a lot later on, but he just said, bro, I'm gonna whip this dude out now to see if he's gonna help. And sure enough, he brought out Garga, and just as a lot of us has foretold, he did make a contract with them, but he, but Borto experienced the same thing in which Naruto experienced when he summoned Gamabunta. He didn't, Garga did not want to cooperate with Borto at all. And Garga even said, so I said that, you know, I'll tag along with you, but I didn't say that I would help you. And then I was just like, wow. I'm just like, yeah. First off, I'm still in shock that he was able to like full-fledged summon Garga. Because I'm just like, you're saying, how are you able to summon him? But you don't have that much chakra. Because you know, with Naruto, he used the power, he used the chakra in the Ninetale Fox to summon Gamabunta. But Boruto, he doesn't, I mean, I know he has Uzumaki, you know, Uzumaki blood, and then this crud with the old Tsutsuki. But, bruh, this, effortlessly. I'm still, like, trying to understand because he did the same crud with the New Way, even though he was only able to summon a small portion of the New Way. But, still, nonetheless, this boy still was able to summon a full-fledged summoning, which was Garga. But all that aside, Garga refused to cooperate with him. And Boruto was just like, he'd say, bro, you can just get out. If you're not going to help me, you can just get the crud out of here. Garga tried to reason with Boruto, like, I would help you if, if you become an underling. Boruto pretty much told Garga to piss off. And that was what made Garga actually want to help Boruto. I hope you guys are ready for this part next. So, Sekie was at his limit. You remember like how um, one of the Octa in the previous episode was at its limit? So, Kokua took that um, weak one out. Sekie is at his limit because they're imperfect. They they need Mitsuki to help make them perfect, make them whole. Sekie is at his limit. He can't, he can't go on anymore. So, Boruto saw the opening. And I must admit, two showers to Boruto. He saw the opening. And he just dove right in. He didn't give no crutch. I'm going to end you right here and then. Sure enough. If there was anyone that could save Sekie, it would have been Mitsuki, bro. I'm just like you're saying to myself. Oh, 
Holy crud. Holy freaking crud. Where did Mitsuki come from? I mean, I'm I'm like this. I I felt like in my heart, like Mitsuki wasn't gonna go back with Boruto and Sarada. But the way in which Mitsuki did, Boruto is here, he sees Mitsuki. Much like how Naruto has saw had saw Sasuke. When Boruto finally saw Mits. I got so many Naruto and like Naruto meeting up with Sasuke after Sasuke had left the Henley village. Dog, here I can just imagine what was going through Boruto's mind. Like, here was the dude in which he had spent the last few episodes searching for just to see him right in front of him. But Mitsuki, dog, Mitsuki. Went right past Boruto and went straight to Sekie. And then when I mean if that wasn't enough, Mitsuki had told Boruto straight up, yo, this is my will. And then Boruto holds up the headband, you're a uh, shinobi of the hen leaf, right? Mitsuki walked up to his boy Boruto, slaps the headband out of his hand, and then straight up uses snake lightning and send Boruto straight into the freaking wall. I was just like Whoa! Did that just happen? Did Mitsuki just straight up betray the Henley village? If you paid close attention throughout the scenes in which we had saw his interaction with Kokua and, and Sekie, you saw that he had, you know, had a bond with them. He saw that they were not human. They were much like him. So he was able to gravitate towards them. And he wants to see like how all of this is going out. And so I I can understand he wants to see like everything how everything unfold. But I just felt like bro you didn't need to do Boruto like that. I can understand if that was like a, a stunt just to help them like pull on trust. Like to, to fully trust you. I can get that because Kokua had looked at Mitsuki with sus eyes. Like bro this sucker's gonna betray us. So when Kokua saw that he said yeah I can fully trust you now. Like you you straight up betrayed your um best friend. Yeah I can, I can totally um trust you now. And then they, he just left with him. And then Boruto just faints just seeing his friend just leave the freaking like leave this episode it was crazy dog i felt like it it went down just as it needed to be because there was no freaking way you know she could show as well as the boards of sarada did they send even an ounce of an ounce of a chance against this guy against koko who 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 can who completely overpowered each and every one of them so it just made sense. It, and then with Boruto's trump card being Garga, and Garga, I mean, he helped out like near the end, but but my thing is this. I, I just really can't wait to see how all this is going to unfold. But guys, here are my thoughts. Please let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching. Operatives, move out.